Millian from Jillian Golding Photography, and I'm so excited to start this new series with you and start to share some tips and tricks for photography and um, just just sharing some education. Um, I posted this something on my stories and asked you guys what it is that you wanted to learn about the most, and it was unanimously light. So we're gonna talk about light today and a few ways that you can use it um, within your photography style and some tips and tricks of just how to use it properly. So. You know, light is my passion. It is my inspiration. I love it so much. I can't stress that enough. Um, light can transform a regular image into a masterpiece and light alone can create so many like emotions within one image. Um, every photographer has their own signature light that they love, whether it's open shade, dappled light, side light, um, whatever it is that is your favorite go-to lighting. Um, I just wanna encourage you, don't be afraid to experiment and we'll talk about that. Um, so dynamic light, it can change an entire session. So I actually, it's funny because I seriously would rather reschedule a shoot if it's overcast than shoot it. I, I have to have light in my shoots. Like it gives me life and motivation and inspiration. So it's so, so important to me. And I think, um, it should be to you too. So I think for me, it's like, light's kind of what I'm known for within my images. I think it's what draws my clients into my work. And I truly believe though that it's a secret that any photographer can pick up. So you just need to play around with it. Try different lighting scenarios, find your style and your preferences. And I know like when I was first starting photography, I, um, I, just, tr I just experimented, I tried things, I practiced a lot and it just takes time to really master lighting. Um, it can be really intimidating, but I promise the more you do it, the less it will be. Um, I, I just needed, when I first started, I needed to discover kind of what my niche was, like what kind of lighting I loved, um, what worked well, and um, what, what was the best for me. So don't think you have to have this nailed down all right away. Um, it can come over time. So let's talk about some factors to consider with lighting. So, you know, timing, that is huge for me. Um, I always shoot at golden hour, which starts about like, I start a couple hours before sunset. This is kind of non-negotiable with my clients. And I just, all I have to do is say, you know, the photos that you see online of mine, those were all shot at this time. And I can't create that same look if I come and shoot you at 12 PM, you know? So I think once they understand the reasoning why I want to shoot at those hours, um, they're always on board. I mean, sometimes there's exceptions of course, but generally speaking, that's the hour that I like to shoot at unless it's an in-home session. Um, that would just be based on lighting for their home whenever their home gets the best light. Um, composition. So this is related to light because for great portraits, composition is essential. And then the composition, it should always be determined by the lighting. So when I'm posing families and things, I find my light source and then I position my clients around that light source and what is the most flattering for them, not the other way around. I'm not posing them and then hoping the light's great, right? So um, you just need to find the light and then kind of go there. You know, I'm kind of like a squirrel on my shoots because people will laugh because I'm like, okay, let's move to the next spot. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I see something over here. Let's try that. And it's always based on lighting. I see like a pocket of light that I love or something. Just don't be afraid to be spontaneous and try things if it, it comes into your vision. Um, be sure to incorporate plenty of surroundings in your images to help you set the scene and kind of add interest to your photos. So, you know, incorporating interesting backgrounds, foreground elements like tree branches or flowers or whatever, it can add depth and interest to your images. So, you know, you can see leading lines and incorporate those, um, colors, textures, anything that you can add to kind of create layers of interest are great for photos. Um, you know, dappled light is one of my faves and we will talk about that, but you know, dappled light is like that light that comes through the trees and is a little bit filtered and has a little bit of shadow on your clients. So that's a light that is really fun to experiment in. Um, you just kind of need to go out and change your perspective, create new dramatic compositions, you know, get down low, incorporate trees and flowers, just to make your images more interesting. Um, composition is really strong for that. It helps, it helps interest the eye for sure. Uh, posing. So, you know, <laughs> most people, don't know how to pose themselves. And it's job, it's our job as photographers to pose them. Like they can't see what they look like in front of the camera. So we don't offer any guidance. We're just gonna end up with a bunch of photos that we don't love, right? So um, we have to support our clients in this way. And that's part of our job. Um, so how I pose people, you know, solely depends on light and their positioning. So I always make sure that the lighting is flattering to them um, and they're at an angle that the light is beneficial for everybody, right? It's the most flattering. So. You know, for backlight, for example, that's a light that I love to shoot. I always have my clients kind of off 
to the side so the light tends to be like in the left corner or the right corner um i don't have them right under it and i kind of have it just kind of off at like a 45 degree angle i guess would be the best way to say it so you know it kind of brings that light in and it's softer and um not as harsh um then always I will, you know, try to expand myself and shoot in strong light. So I used to say, no way, I'm not shooting in strong light, but now I actually love it. I love to incorporate it into my sessions. It creates kind of just like a different look and it makes my galleries that I deliver more diverse because you don't want to deliver a gallery that's just all the same boring light, right? Like that's not interesting for your clients. So you want to give um, something that has a lot of personality and dynamics to it. That's always my goal. Um, so if I'm positioning them in strong light, you know, sometimes I'll put the light right behind them so that they're kind of blocking it. Um, and that will kind of just create this pretty glow behind them. Um, it's gonna be like awkward angles and um, things that you're gonna need to get in as a photographer, but like my clients always laugh because I'm like in the bush or doing the slits or something, you know? Um, but it's all about angle and lighting and that's my priority. Like I don't care if I'm uncomfortable, you know? So whatever it takes to get the shot right. So um, you just have to look at different angles and kind of depends on where the sun is at and just try experiment. Um, if you're, if it's not working, then for sure you can go find open shade and do your thing. But you know, um, trying these different lights is more interesting for sure. So I use the dapple light that I mentioned to create, um, emotion in images. So, you know, you can, um, have a, you know, your client close their eyes or whatever it is. Um, and it just totally changes the mood of the photo when you have the dappled light and you can change your settings to bring down the exposure and all of that to create more emotion. So it's super fun. Um, to just use lighting it's so diverse you know you can try different things with it get creative and work to create like a fun and relaxing session with your clients um use light to set the mood for your images and make it your top priority never have light be an afterthought like never 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 light is always my top priority when i'm thinking about shooting and i'm scouting locations and i'm you know deciding on timing for things it's always always number one so um it can be for you too i think if you make it more of a priority you'll you will get more familiar with it and feel comfortable with it. I feel like now, because I've practiced so much that I could step into any situation and get great images with any kind of light because I've I've practiced and, and put the hours in to try it. So I encourage you to go practice. Um, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, drop a comment in here. Um, I have something that you learned in this video that you're gonna take action and use and then share it with your friends, please. And then um, go ahead and like it too. So um, as long as I'm getting good feedback with these, I'll keep doing them as, I, as long as I know that they're beneficial for you. So thanks so much. Have a great day.